Now, Infertility Awareness Week on Eyewitness News, brought to you by the Center for Advanced Reproductive Services. All week long, we've been sharing stories of how modern medicine is helping couples in their journey to parenthood. And tonight, Channel 3's Nicole Nalepa explains how pre-implantation genetic screening works. We were really fortunate that we were able to have our son. At just 30 years old, Rebecca Panetti and her husband Tony decided to start fertility treatment after having more than one ectopic pregnancy. That's when a fertilized egg attaches itself outside of the uterus. We decided before we started IVF that we wanted to do IVF with PGS testing. PGS, or pre-implantation genetic screening, is a new test that helps doctors screen embryos for an abnormal number of chromosomes in a cell. Non-PGS tested, our chances were pretty much 50-50, and you know, we didn't like those odds. You know, one of the major causes for miscarriage are genetically abnormal embryos. And so if you put back an embryo into the uterus that has all the chromosomes it's supposed to have, then there's a much higher chance of live birth and a much lower rate of miscarriage. In addition to the doctors, you're also working with a genetic counselor through the process. We're there to support and um, you know, encourage couples to do what's best for them. The Panetti said PGS was an easy choice for them. Because we had already been through a lot mm -hmm. and didn't want to, um, and didn't want to have any more setbacks. But PGS testing revealed that two out of six of their embryos tested normal. And after just their first embryo transfer. Got pregnant on our first IVF cycle. Today, they are the proud parents of this active, healthy four-month-old baby boy. He doesn't yeah, like I, to miss a beat. I think he has <laughs> the FOMO fear of missing out. Yes. <laughs> and for those who don't want to miss out on PGS testing, it's important to note that it'll run you around $4,500 and is not always covered by insurance. For Channel 3 Eyewitness News, I'm Nicole Nalepa. Good morning.